Hey, y'all. Everybody's been waiting on January the 31st, baby. Here I go. Honey, y'all see the thumbnail, child. What is going on? Over there in that McIntyre house, child. If you are broke, just say that. The economy is affecting everybody. I'm not one of those people that gets on here and act like I got it like that. It's tough out here. It has changed over the last couple of years. Quiet as it's kept. If I don't get my ass up every day and go to work, I'm one step away from panhandling. Truth be told, everything is going up in our country except our wages and these YouTube checks, child. But anyway, honey, I was wondering what the next content was going to be. I was wondering because we've already, you know, exposed our family. Miss Teresa, she done been dragged how many times? Five or six times. Wood, he can't get put out no more and go to his mammy shack because you got him exactly where you want him. He done fell out with his mammy and them too. So he doesn't even have a relationship with his family. And that's just what Peach with the Patches wanted, child. But here's my thing. She has promoted this credit repair kit talked about all the evictions and everything that she's had on her credit how much it works you will your credit will turn right around honey in a matter of months if you do that credit repair kit that she's got honey <laughs> now is it me or if she has called a finance company to come and pick up that van isn't that gonna be a repo on her credit. Now, quiet as it's kept, I have never experienced a repo, nor have I been evicted. But I heard, honey, those are the two worst things that you could possibly have on your credit report, child. If I got any credit repair people, anybody that work down to the American Express, anybody, drop down in the comments and let me know. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I could be wrong, child. But anyway, my thing is, so you telling me you pay cash, so you say, for Woods truck, but you didn't pay cash for that Kia caravan <laughs> so you and your children could have a for sure ride. Honey, I don't know about you, Peach with the Patches, but I was always taught about self-preservation. That absolutely made no sense. That was dumb, stupid. What were you thinking, child? Clearly, you weren't thinking. Honey, I cannot believe that she is going to let them people come back and pick that car up. And she said she didn't care. She said she knows it's going to go on her credit. Honey, I don't know how long it took her to come up with this three minutes and some video. But baby, you need to go back to the drawing board and try again. Because you sound just as foolish as you look out there walking by that pond. I told y'all that's where she go get the crime broke. And talking about how overwhelmed she is. And I got to get my mind in order and all that. I know it. I know it. But anyway, y'all. I cannot wait to see what y'all got to say down in these comments. So you telling me. That was all clickbait and lies and alibis. You down there all off in them people's Suburbans and Cadillacs and things. Looking at them SUVs. SUVs knowing damn well you didn't have the money. Her words, not mine. So that was all for content purposes only. Child. Now, you want people to take your mindset class and buy these social media bundles and all of that. Baby, you couldn't have possibly thought this one out baby because like i said you look at a person's behavior you've watched her gamble her life away on more than one occasion why in the world would i listen to you now look at her she's in a position she's not making the money that she used to make everybody knows that anybody that's a content creator whether you come from facebook like myself youtube instagram tiktok the money is not like it used to be Honey, I know she probably be fighting the air. You know, on uh, the movie Boys in the Hood where Trey was punching the air. I know that's probably why she can't sleep at night. Every time she get, <laughs> every time she get in a deep sleep, she probably get to thinking about all them buttons she done pressed on and all them cars she done played and all that money she done lost, all the money she done paid that nanny, all the money she done gave Miss Tracy. All the money she done gave Diddy, and he ain't bringing none in still in 2024. Child, this is a mess, y'all. Now that I got that out of the way, because I react to the content that's put out here, I don't believe for one bit that she's going to let them come back and get that van. 
Peach with the Patches is very competitive. She's got a big ego. Her brother has recently gotten him a new car. I think it's uh, a little Nissan or something. But yeah, I believe that she will come back with something, even if she's struggling to make the payments on it. But yeah, y'all drop down in the comments and let me know what y'all think.